Well, you can't say high school chemistry isn't rocket science, at least not at one East Bay High School. That's because the students are starting off the school year by building rockets. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explains they're learning science and a whole lot more. Three, two, one. If you blink, you'll miss it. A tiny rocket blasting off into the clouds. We're just going to put it right there so it gets a nice little pop coming off. They're made out of notebook paper and powered by air. Three. Two, one, light them up. Whoa. They seem very simple to build, but the tiny little errors you make in design or construction on paper rocket will have a lot more impact on its performance than if you built a big heavy rocket. That's why the kids have a little help from the Patriots Jet Team Foundation. They know a few things about aerobatics and aerodynamics. Is that bad? The teams get to test their rockets in a wind tunnel. Notice what the rocket's doing? Spinning. The kids quickly learn it's the little things. I learned that if you're sloppy, it's not going to work as well. And they learned some physics in the process. Look how big the feathers are an hour. Okay, that's the kind of ratio you want to get for your rocket. But the students are finding these paper projectiles are teaching them far more than rocket science. Most importantly, they're teaching them teamwork. You may not get along with everybody, but you're going to have to work with them one way or another. And work together to find out what went wrong. Around here, it was too crumpled a little, so it caused turbulence. So instead of going straight up, it like shook around in the air. Students measure the altitude with homemade instruments. It's like a scope. And compete for a chance to visit the Patriots Jet Team School of Aeronautics. Our rocket went out of the whole class. But no victory is forever. The kids at Freedom High School do this every year. They're already making plans. I'm going to put more effort into the rocket to make it maybe hit 85, 90 feet. And though they won't all work for NASA. I actually was an engineer before, and the skills that I learned from engineering was problem solving skills and I apply those skills in every aspect of my life. In Oakley, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.